Which blood collection tube will you use? That is the question we are trying to answer in this presentation. This video covers the blood collection tubes common types used at the veterinary hospital. We also explain the additives in each collection tube and some of the tests that you would look to run with each blood collection tube. There are five commonly used blood collection tubes. These are the red top tube known as the serum tube, the EDT a purple or lavender top tube, which we use to perform the complete blood count. The blue top tube is the coagulation tube, and the green top tube is the heparin tube. The green top tube is sometimes known as the plasma tube. We sometimes refer to the gray top tube as the sodium fluoride tube. After watching the video, the veterinary technician should feel more confident in recognizing the various blood collections tubes available at the in-house laboratory of their veterinary hospital. Remember that we can improve efficiency and laboratory skills by choosing the right blood collection tube. For the veterinary student, the following presentation can serve as a review for the NABLA and the ECFVG certification program. The red top tube do not contain any anticoagulants. This tube can be used with or without a clot activator or gel. The clot activator promotes blood clotting. The gel separates serum from cells. This is the preferred tube to do chemistry, serology and immunology testing. The green top tube contains sodium or lithium heparin with or without gel. The function of this specific anticoagulant is to prevent clotting by inhibiting thrombin and thromboplastin. This blood collection tube is commonly used at the in-house laboratory when you need stat or routine blood chemistry. The purple top tube is also known as the lavender tube. The anticoagulant present in this tube is sodium or potassium EDTA. The function of the anticoagulant in this tube is to prevent clotting by binding calcium. The purple top is the tube that we use for the complete blood count test or CBC as we commonly said in veterinary medicine. The additive in the blue top tube is sodium citrate. This additive prevents clotting of the blood sample by binding calcium. This tube is the one we use to test coagulation. The gray top tube contains sodium fluoride and sodium or potassium oxalate. Fluoride inhibits glycolysis and oxalate prevents clotting by precipitating calcium. This is the tube we use when we want to determine glucose and or lactate concentrations in the blood sample. The gray top tube is useful in situations when we need to determine the glucose concentration of a patient but testing cannot be done immediately. As a matter of curiosity, this tube is also used to determine blood alcohol concentration in the human blood sample. Before we complete this presentation, let's do a quick review of the blood collection tubes discussed today. Remember this are the most commonly used blood collection tubes at any veterinary hospital. The purple top or lavender tube is the one that contains the additive EDTA and is the tube that we use to perform a complete blood count. The red top tube do not contain any additives and after we spin the sample using a centrifuge the serum is used to analyze the blood chemistry. The gray top tube additive is sodium fluoride. This additive inhibits the process of glycolysis within the blood sample. We use this tube when we know there is going to be a delay in the analysis of the blood sample and we need to measure glucose levels in our patient. This tube can be used to measure lactate levels in the sample. The additive of the green top tube is heparin. The plasma obtained after spinning the sample is used to evaluate the blood chemistry of the patient. The blue top tube contains sodium citrate. This is the tube we use to evaluate coagulation in our patient. The veterinary channel wants to give thanks to Dr. Aziz Ahmed Lako for his collaboration with this presentation. Dr. Lako is a senior veterinary student at the Sindh Agriculture University of Tondo Jam in Pakistan. The producer of this video was Dr. Jose Fenick. Dr. Fenick graduated from the Department of Animal Industry at the University of Puerto Rico College of Agriculture in 1991. In 1996, he graduated from the College of Veterinary Medicine at the University of Georgia. He currently practices small animal medicine in the state of Georgia, United States of North America. Feel free to browse our channel content for more informative videos about veterinary medicine and pet health care in general. We see you soon with another video. Thank you for watching.